Hi everyone, this is a um, muscle functional grouping quiz style video of the axial skeleton. I have a bunch of tags on this model and I have a bunch of questions. I'll go through them, write down your answers as I go, pause the video whenever you need, and then I'll go over the answers at the end. All right, let's get started. First, we have number one. Number one is right here. And then we have number two. And number three. So identify those muscles. Four, what is their common action? And five, common nerve. Number six, seven, and eight are all on this model here. Nine, common action. Ten, common nerve. We got eleven. 12, marked in two locations, and 13, which is here. 14, what is their common action when contracted unilaterally? Fifteen, what is the common nerve of eleven and twelve? So these two. Alright, we got sixteen and seventeen. We have eighteen in the anterior view. 19, what is their common action when contracted bilaterally? So those two, or that muscle, and these two. And 20 is asking, what nerve is 18 innervated by? So what innervates this muscle? All right, pause the video if you need more time, but I will go over the answers now. One, we have serratus posterior inferior. Two, on the chest plate, we have our internal intercostals. So here you can tell by the fiber direction. And three, we have our transversus thoracus. Their common action is forced expiration and they're all innervated by the intercostal nerve. Six, we have, oh, we're still on the chest plate. We have our internal abdominal oblique. Also, you can tell by the fiber direction and the fascia on the, both sides. Seven is our rectus abdominis, and eight is the external abdominal oblique. They all do trunk flexion, so of the thoracic and lumbar regions. That's the trunk. And they are all innervated by the thoracoabdominal nerve. Next we have 11, which is our splenius capitis. 12 is the erector spinae. You can see on both sides here. 13, this is posterior scalene. 14, their common action is lateral flexion of the C-spine. Oh, yes, the lateral flexion of the C-spine. They all act on the cervical region, and contracting unilaterally, they do lateral flexion. And they're all, all or, um, 11 and 12, which is what 15 was asking, um, is innervated by posterior rami. 16, we have our semispinalis capitis. 
17 is your trapezius. We have upper, middle, and lower fibers. 18, quadratus lumborum. These all, when they contract bilaterally, do spine extension. And 18 is innervated by the lumbar plexus. I hope that was helpful.